I'm Derek Walker, the pastor of the Oxford Bible Church, and uh, it's great to be with you these uh, mornings to share with you some words from Jesus that I believe are particularly important. I believe the teaching of Jesus is, is primary in the Gospels, and his foundational teaching is the Sermon on the Mount. And the foundational verses of the Sermon on the Mount are the Beatitudes. And this, they show us that God is primarily interested in our heart. Yes, he's interested in our behavior, but he's not interested in the f- just a form of godliness without that inner reality too. And so we saw that he first of all said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Basically, everything that God has is yours to the degree that you realize you're poor in spirit and therefore you call upon God to do it in you. Only God can change your heart. Only God can give you life. You can't manufacture Christianity. You can't imitate it. It's an empty shell. You have to let God produce the reality in you. And the more you realize that without Christ you can do nothing, without his spirit you can do nothing, then the more you can access the kingdom of God and all its blessings. And then we saw, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And, and again, when you sin, don't run away from God. Or if you've been hurt, don't run away from God in anger or repress those emotions. What he's saying is, bring your emotions to God. Bring yourself to God and ask him to comfort you. Bring your pain to God. Uh, bring your sin to God. And he says, you will be comforted. You, you will, uh, by opening your heart to God, you'll allow the comfort of the Holy Spirit to come in. And now I want to go on to the third one, which is, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. I love that. And that the key is, they shall inherit the earth. That's really success in life. That is, in your dealings in this life, you will be successful. And the key is meekness. And this is a humble attitude, really a meek is not weak. Meek is actually strength under control. Meek is submission to God's authority, submitted to God's word. And you know, the more you might think, well, submission is weakness. No, it's not because actually the Bible teaches that the more we humble ourselves under God, the more he can exalt us. The more you surrender your heart to God, the more uh, he can empower you and give you authority and honor. And so the more submitted you are to him, the the stronger you are. And, And when you're meek and when you're humble, you are in a position to receive from God. You know, if we want to receive the blessing of God, it's no long, no good looking at God if on your level. You need to look up to God. You need to be surrendered to God because water flows downhill. And in the same way, the living water from God, the, the wisdom and the strength and the life from God, it flows downhill. It flows from heaven to earth. So you have to look up and you have to be submitted and surrendered. Blessed are the meek for the earth will be theirs. They they will find the power. They will receive the power to function in life and they'll have the wisdom to, to be blessed in life. He says, but meekness is essential. The opposite is to be full of yourself and, and not to be submitted to God because you know better. Have a meek attitude. Surrender your heart to God and he will begin to teach you and show you and you will start finding success as you obey him. And so blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth.